I'm Ursa Scarlet Heaven's Wheel Armor from Fairy Tale. Why did you cho choose her? Um, she's a very strong character. I really like her character. She's a little clumsy sometimes and can be really cute, but I like that she's really strong and she can fight enemies. I also like that she has the power to build armor from magic. How long did it take you to build your costume? Two weeks working straight on it, like working nonstop on it. It took us very long. And how did you make the costume? Uh, well, from a lot of different materials. The, um, the, ah, the swords are from insulation foam. The wings are from the foam boards that you get at like Dollar Tree. And they're being held by a, like a brace from behind. As for the armor, it's made out of all Eva foam. Uh, today I'm Mei from the game Overwatch. Why'd you choose to be May? Because um, I already have the glasses and I kind of look like her and plus I wanted to make a coat and yeah, I like May a lot. Have you ever dressed up as her before? No, well I mean, yeah, I have um, at San Japan in San Antonio, but this is the second time I've been wearing her. How do you like Comic Con? It's pretty nice. It's a bunch of local um, stores and it's um, nice to support all the stores here in Laredo. What's your favorite part about Comic Con? It's nice seeing all the cosplays that are um, that everyone creates and does um, for the competition, and I like seeing how everyone comes together as a group, and and I am part of that group. What's your favorite thing about Comic Con right now? I like um, the events. I like having. I, I like watching the events and like like seeing what happens and. Um, yeah, the events, like the panels and the um, the contests, and um, yeah, that's it. Uh, what I am is Gerard Way from the uh, Black Parade. For those that may not know, that is a My Chemical Romance album, and Gerard Way is the lead singer. Why did you choose to be Gerard Way? Uh, I had recently become a My Chemical Romance fan, and I liked the theatrics that they all do, and what really struck me, you know, was just how all this is. I really like how it is in general and also because the Black Parade turned 10 years old and I thought it would be appropriate. Did you make the costume or did you buy it? Um, the jacket I had bought online on Amazon and the rest of this was just, you know, stuff that I had around the house and, you know, just a couple of discount stuff that I bought, really stuff within the budget. I'm not that big of a cosplayer, but, you know, wanted to participate. How do you like this Comic Con? I, the first time I did it was last year and it was incredibly fun, like I didn't even know that Laredo had this going on and then I thought, you know, there aren't that really, there aren't that many people that really participate in the kind of nerd, so to speak, um, you know, the kind of stuff that they do and then me growing up it was always just, you know, falling into that so it's like I found that this place where you can just find all of this stuff that really relates to it and relates to kind of the stuff I grew up on I just thought it was really cool and I really enjoy it thank you so much thank you uh, we're twin jokers and obviously this is my little chippy why did you choose to be the joker so my wife's a cosplayer here she's a guest her name is Dominique Sky and uh, so we've done we're rather we do family cosplays so she's a Tana today and we do the same universe so we're DC so we chose the Joker to be able to kind of match her. How do you like the Comic Con of today? It's actually really well organized. We're, we travel not often, but we travel through Texas. And uh, this one's really well organized, and uh, which is pretty impressive because things go on planned and whatnot. So this is the first one that she's guesting at, but uh, it's gone really, really smooth. Hi, I'm David Ankrum, and I did the voice of Wedge Antilles in the very first Star Wars film, uh, A New Hope. So I, the, uh, the actor Dennis Lawson had a very thick Scottish accent, so um, they had me do the voice, to come in and do the voice, like seeing the Death Star for the first time, you know, look at the size of that thing, and all those, those great lines, and it was very exciting to be a part of it. That's incredible. How do you like the Comic Con? Oh, I love this. I love being in Laredo, and the energy here is fantastic, and I love the fans, and being interviewed by you. <laughs> Thank you, I feel honored. That's great. So everyone's so friendly. And there's some great food in Laredo. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, listen, I enjoy yourself and thank you. How are you? Oh, 
Some people call me Sam Jones. Some people call me Flash Gordon. And some people call me Dad or Honey. <laughs> How do you like the Comic Con that's here? Love it. It's my second time in Laredo. And I was here in January of last year. And good people. Really enjoy it. Thank you so, so, so very much. Oh, you're welcome. You keep up the good so work. So who yeah. are you? Hi, my name is Romy J. Sharp, and I used to play Alpha 5 on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What was that like? Uncomfortable. Very heavy suit. It was made out of fiberglass. Very cumbersome, hard to wear, but it was fun. I had a good time doing it. How do you like the Comic-Con here today? Oh, it was really fun. It was neat meeting all the fans. A lot of people came up to my table, and they were shocked that a person was in the robot suit. They thought that Alpha was actually a real robot, so... I was pretty surprised about that. It was cool. Thank you. Who are you? Uh, my name is David J. Fielding, and I played Zordon on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What was that like? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I got to be the head of a superhero team and uh, uh, part of a very popular TV show, so it was, it was a lot of fun. How's the Comic-Con today? Uh, the Comic Con's great. I mean, Marco puts on a great show. It's always great to meet people in different parts of the country. So, I mean, I've had a, I've had a great time while I've been here. So, thank you so much. Oh, you bet. Great to Who meet are you. you. I'm Kel Mitchell uh, from Nickelodeon. Uh, you can catch me on Game Shakers currently every Saturday night on Nickelodeon. Make sure you check it out. But then also too, uh, from the '90s, I had shows like Keenan and Kel, uh, Good Burger, Clifford the Big Red Dog. You see all of that over there, man. So, uh, yeah, I've just been in the business a long time, and uh, I like going to the Comic-Cons and talking to all the fans. You were, you were on Clifford the Big Red Dog? I was. I was a little T-bone, a little yellow bulldog. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. you like today's Comic-Con? Uh, it was a lot of fun, a lot of good cosplay. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For old time's sake, can you say the Good Burger catchphrase? Okay, cool. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs>